Papa Pepper, my biggest pygmy rattler ever. Alright guys, I know this ain't going to look like much to some of you guys, but this is the biggest pygmy rattler I've found so far. Uh, so far I've found probably about a dozen of these. One of them was a crazy cool jet black one, but this is the biggest one that I've ever seen. Check this out. Total, I'm guessing, and he's ready to strike. Real. Uh, I'm guessing 13, 14 inches. I should measure them. I should measure them. You know, I do got a, and you can barely hear that tiny rattle too. See that focus on that head? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, these guys I'm going to go ahead and guess are the most common rattlesnakes where I'm at because they're the only ones I've seen. Beautiful snakes, so look at that coloration. Oh, it's still, still just a rattling right there. Got it picked up. I don't know if you can hear that. That little tiny, tiny rattle, I mean. Sounds more like a bee buzzing right now. Look at the coloration on this thing too. This thing is beautiful. Just a beautiful snake. And then of course, it's got some fangs up in there too. Yeah, let me see if I can go like that. Yeah, there he is. So, very, very crazy cool snake. Let's see if we can measure this thing too. inches long actually. Man. I guess that's actually about 19 inches long, just over a foot and a half. But beautiful looking snake. I actually saw it because it was next to a bird that was not appreciating its presence. So the bird kind of caught my attention and then I noticed they had something next to it. Look at you. Look at you. So yeah, 19 inches. That'll be the biggest one I found so far. Beautiful snake though, wow. Of course these guys are nocturnal a lot of times, so you won't see them so much during the day. And since they're small, and even with their rattles, quiet, they're kind of uh, unfortunate to encounter. And walk around at night. How you doing there? Say hey, there you are. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Please don't bite me. Alright guys, so... So for those of you who don't know, these guys can get up to about 2 feet, although the largest ones have been over 30 inches. Um, sometimes they'll get larger in captivity. These rattles, you know, are really hard to hear. So if you encounter one in the wild, it's pretty much going to be because you see it or because you step on it. And either one, you know, don't do this. Don't pick them up. Don't grab them. Don't do things like that. It's not wise. They do have some pretty serious fangs there. This guy's got them sticking out. I'm just trying to keep them far enough away from my finger that I don't get uh, venom. As far as the venom goes, they're not really going to be deadly to a, uh, to a grown-up. They're going to cause a lot of pain it's going to be like a really bad bee sting or hornet sting or you know a non-lethal scorpion sting but it's not really gonna um, kill me however you know there are children around here and children can have more severe effects from the venom from these guys um they're common like i said we ran to quite a few in this area i've relocated um, a number of them far enough away that we won't have to deal with them again and i definitely prefer that method to just to kill every snake method myself they do have a niche in the ecosystem they have a role to play they're uh, out there eating you know different mammals and rats and they'll crawl down in their burrows a lot of times they will um 
eat skinks, eat other snakes. And uh, yeah, they're certainly cool to encounter. They're neat to see as long as you do so safely. And we definitely, uh, definitely admire these and respect these. So this is, like I said, the biggest one I ever found. Uh, I hope to find another black one because that was so crazy. I really should have, uh, should have made a video of that. I took some photos and uh, that was about that. But this guy, what's he got? One, two, three, four. He's only got about five rattles on that tail there. So I'm not sure if I can get it to zoom in there on the tail. Not really. There's only about five tiny rattles there. And then of course his head is some pretty, pretty serious stuff. Let's get a good one on the head. So they do have the slits for eyes. They got heat pits. They got uh, those big fangs. So we're going to put this one down. I'm going to get out of here. Just wanted to share this crazy cool snake with you. Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.